Friends, we have uh, gathered here this evening in the presence of God and of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. It is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying to us the mystical union that exists between Christ and his church. It is a holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in the Cana of Galilee. And so it is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. Chris and Brittany, I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows that you are about to make are kept faithfully, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your Heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy, and the home that you are establishing will abide in peace. No other vows are more tender, no other vows are more sacred than those that you now assume. You may be seated, congregation. Chris, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife? To live together in the holy estate of matrimony, will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep only to her as long as you both shall live. And your answer is, I will. I will. Brittany, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? To live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep only to him so long as you both shall live. Who presents this woman to marry this man? I do. Thank you. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, gave instructions to that group about what a perfect marriage should look like. And I want you to hear those words again tonight. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called to be one body and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms and hymns, spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Now, Chris, I'm going to ask you to exchange vows, and I'm going to come to you first. And I want you to repeat after me. I, Chris, take you, Brittany. I, Chris, take you, Brittany. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, death to us part. According to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, and therefore I pledge you my faith. And therefore I pledge you my faith. Now, Brittany, will you repeat after me? I, Brittany, take you, Chris, I, Brittany, take you, Chris. to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward. For better, for worse, for better, for worse. 
for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, according, according to God's holy ordinance, <laughs> and therefore I pledge you my faith. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the church of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so I would ask, O oh Lord, that you would bless the giving of these rings, that they that wear them may abide in your peace, continue in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Brittany, will you place this ring on Chris's hand, please? And repeat after me. In token and pledge of our abiding faith and constant love, with this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Chris, will you take this ring, ring and place it on Brittany's hand and repeat after me. In token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love, with this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For as much as Chris and Brittany have consented together in holy woodlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company and thereto have pledged their faith one to each other and declared the same by joining hands and giving and receiving rings. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Will you pray with me? Eternal God, creator and preserver us of us all, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send your blessing upon Chris and Brittany, whom you've blessed in your name, that they may surely perform and keep the vows that they have made between each other and remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to your laws. Look graciously upon them, that they may love and honor and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a heavy haven of blessing and a place of peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve you and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life and in this world to come that you may have everlasting life. Amen and amen. You may kiss the bride. Let me be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Chris Campbell. You may leave. <laughs>